Hi friends, in this part we will see how we can edit our categories. Okay, so there are two ways you can go about it. Either you can create a new page altogether where you can have a create uh, edit form and update the information there. But what I would like, I would like to have it here on this page so that whenever I click on this edit button, this field should be populated with the uh, title here with the current title and this button should say update category instead of create category okay let's go about it and see how we can do it so first of all i'm going to create a new edit.handlebars uh, file under the category section i'll copy the entire index code there okay so i'll remove this placeholder and here i it will say update category and instead of success I'll use warning so to make it yellow and we'll remove and we'll change the ID from create to uh, update category okay and after that we still want to display the table with categories here on the top and for the value I will bind it with category dot title so we need to create this uh, route basically first of all I'll go here I'm in controller I'll create a new function here I'll name it edit categories get route so we need to, first we need to get to that route right and again we'll be using ajax to post the data okay like we did for the create creation of the uh, categories so we know that we will be getting the id in the parameter right so we can get the id using the request params object we'll have the id because uh go back you, you know under the edit button we have this ID operator here right or, or ID params here right rather okay so now what we want we also want uh, the categories right I'll name it cats and this time instead of using the then function I'll use a new method new way to fetch the, the data using the async await keys okay so I'll name my function as async then I can use a wait uh, keyword here and I can simply use category dot find I don't have to use the then uh, function then okay so once I get the categories I want to still find my category which was sent to this category ID and I'll use category IDs okay and here I'm going to use then of course you can use the async await function there but I'm using this on purpose so what I want I want to first render this page that is admin uh, category dot index edit one and I want to send the data what I want I want to send the individual category that I got here also the list of categories that I got from this await function right so that should be it if I save this and go to the routes and create a new route for the request that is category edit colon id this will have a get route so admin controller dot uh, edit categories get route right save it go back to the browser refresh so now if you click on PHP you'll see the page looks the same however the URL has changed and my text box is filled with this title automatically and the button has changed to update if I click on WordPress that's the same thing then click on any of these links and it will do the same okay so let's change the react to react native maybe so we, have, we need to we need to need to implement the update logic we haven't done that yet okay and for that 
let's go back here I have to pass the ID also because you need this ID at a query ID this will be a hidden form hidden input field here ID category ID so, this, so we will send this to our Ajax request and in our footer section we will copy this create function okay I'll name it I have to change the button to update category button okay and again we are targeting the on click event only here okay so apart from data what I want I want the ID as well right so it's category ID and we know that we are not posting to the create URL we are posting to the edit URL and that has got ID so I will be using the PS6 syntax here with this back text okay everything will remain the same and on success I don't want this to happen what I want I want to first of all create the route okay so controller this is the end so edit categories post route okay request response so what I want I will be getting the category right cat ID and this will be request dot params dot ID I will also get the new title it will be request dot body dot title or name rather so that is the name attribute that we are sending through here okay perfect then can I check if new title is there it's not blank I'm going to go category dot find by ID this will be cat ID and we'll get a category for which we want to update the title with this new title okay and category dot save this will again return a promise update it but we don't want to do anything with the updated what we want to do we want to send a case on response here and I'll send a redirect URL that will be admin po uh, not post category okay and also let's send a response code status uh, 200 okay now I need to create this post route controller dot post route. save it and in our footer I'll use the windows function the regular uh, JavaScript method with that's window dot location location dot href equals to response dot url so this is the url attribute uh, that we are sending here okay is a key basically so I'm gonna remove this we need it so as soon as you get a success, success response it will redirect you to the category page so let's test this okay so I'm gonna refresh this I have a react here and I rename it to react native category you see we are back to the category page and it's updated now even in our database if I refresh it's react native okay so I can rename angular to let's say angular 7 update it's done and this is the beauty so you have only one form and you can uh, when use I mean reuse the same form for updating the category as well Okay. Alright, so with this, the, uh, this concludes this particular part and in the next part we will be working on the front end to display some categories and some posts. Okay, so till then, please do like, subscribe and uh, comment on my video and have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.